update two on Cyclone Failing, which is currently located in the central bay of Bengal right now with wind speeds of 155 miles per hour and a pressure of 922 millibars. Current position is 15.8 degrees north, 88.8 degrees east, and the storm is expected to move towards the northwest, attaining category five intensity and possibly even more, 165 miles per hour possibly, and maybe even a landfall at a high end cat four, maybe even, may I suggest, boldly enough, a possibly cat category five landfall along the Indian coast. Sustained winds of over 150 miles per hour possible in parts of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha in India over the next few days. Certainly a very strong storm, probably the strongest we've seen in many years along the eastern coast of India, um, likely to occur over the next few days. Certainly seems to be nothing much stopping it at the moment. A very intense storm as it is already and has been for a little while now. Sea surface temperatures very warm at the moment, around 29, possibly even 30 degrees Celsius in some areas, especially near the coast of India. So certainly a few for possibly further intensification over the next um, day or so uh, before the storm makes landfall in India. You can see along the um, far left of the image here on the model runs, the CMC first of all, you can see the storm moving into India. Let's see where exactly the storm makes landfall according to the CMC model. A little bit further north than what the forecast is currently saying in the Odisha region of India in the next few days. The GFS model, let's see what that one says, moving a little bit slightly further south, probably um, with what the official forecast says at the moment, not too far from the border with Andhra Pradesh. Um, certainly looks like a very strong storm making landfall though, as I say, possibly um, a strong Category 4 storm at landfall. That's what it's currently hinting at at the moment, at least anyway. So here's the latest satellite imagery over the past few hours. You can see how the storm's moving fairly slowly at the moment, a little bit of a uh, jog towards the west. You can see how it's a very intense storm with a very small eye at this time. You can see um, certainly very um, what, what you can see of this radar. I mean, it's not the best quality, but certainly an intense looking storm and quite a wide one as well, um, covering pretty much the whole of the Bay of Bengal, as you can see here. The spiral bands extending just about over the coast of India at the moment, but not too much in the way of heavy rainfall over any land areas at the moment but that may change well that will obviously change as time goes on and the storm draws nearer to the coastline of india i cannot stress enough how strong a storm this may be at landfall and how much of an effect it may have on coastal regions when the storm does indeed make landfall in around 24 to 36 hours time so looking at the world tropics right now, quite a few systems active at the moment. The remnants of NADA still in the eastern Pacific. Invest 94E also there, which could develop into a tropical cyclone. 98L in the Atlantic also could develop into a tropical storm in the next few days. Of course, we have Phelan and the two systems in the western Pacific, Nari and Wifa. Uh, so, of course, we have Phelan right now in the Indian Ocean. That's the only thing going on at the moment. Nothing going on in the southern half of the Indian Ocean, in the southern hemisphere. The uh, Arabian Sea looking quiet as well. You can see how Phelan covers pretty much the whole of the uh, northern half of the Bay of Bengal there um, between India and uh, Myanmar. So it's the second tropical storm of the 2013 Indian Ocean season. The first storm to reach uh, hurricane strength and the first storm to reach major hurricane strength as well, 111 miles per hour or higher. Certainly the strongest storm that we've had in a few years in this part of the world. Um, and that's level with 1990 for the least busiest season on record so far, but I think that may change as we draw towards the end of the year. It's certainly um, uh, historically in the Indian Ocean, we have a bit of an active period around this time of year. And you can track this storm and indeed any other storms out there at the website, force13.com forward slash storm tracking.html. That's, the, that's the, uh, the main page for it. Uh, where you can see all the storms that are currently active at the moment, including invests and uh, post-tropical storms. You can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook, and Twitter, just search Force 13 on either of those. You can find us fairly easily enough, and as always, please do show your support by doing the usual means of engagement, liking, subscribing, commenting, favouriting, or following, or anything else that you may be able to think of. And if you have any questions about this storm, uh, obviously um, one or two of you may indeed have questions on the storm, or comments, or whatever. Um, if you have anything directed towards me, I'll do my best to answer them on the comments page or indeed private message if you so wish. Uh, the next update on this storm will probably arrive at around 3 or 4 p.m. UTC on Friday, October the 11th, 2013. But until then, that's all for now. And as always, stay safe out there. It's a very strong storm and could be a real threat to the coast of India.